We all get excited for vacation, but nothing brings fun to a screeching halt faster than a dead house battery. So to keep that from happening to you, let's make sure those onboard batteries are ready to camp. Your van is equipped with lithium batteries and they operate differently than traditional lead acid batteries. Lithium batteries run at a constant voltage and when they can no longer provide that voltage, the battery management system or BMS turns the battery off and this stops any further discharge. Because the van has an alternator attached to the engine, this is going to charge the battery when the motorhome is running and whenever you're driving. So the first thing you need to do is turn the house battery switch to the on position. The alternator only charges if the switch is on. Fire up the engine and let it run for about 30 seconds. Now check the alternator display on the controller in the living area and confirm the battery voltage. If a voltage is detected, the batteries are online and the secondary alternator connected to the engine will charge the battery so you are set, go have fun. But if battery voltage is not detected, the batteries are not online and you need to wake them up in order to charge. Here's what we need to do. On the lower dash panel, press and hold the emergency start switch for at least five seconds. By holding the button, this is gonna connect the chassis and the house systems, waking up the house batteries so they can start charging. After you let go of the switch, go look at the battery monitor to check the battery voltage and charging. Once the batteries are connected to the system, check the alternator current output on the display. The output should be a positive number, and this can vary based on the battery's charging needs. The battery's overall condition dictates the charging current, and this should increase as the van runs. As you watch this gauge, take note that a battery at a lower state of charge will charge fast, and that charge rate is going to decrease as the battery level increases. This is totally normal. The charging amperage rises with increased RPMs. What this means is driving the vehicle will increase the charging current, reducing the amount of time needed to bring the batteries to full capacity. So in short, go for a drive. Got a few tips for you on using the Reliant batteries in cold weather. You see, outdoor temperatures below 32 degrees Fahrenheit can impact a lithium battery's ability to take a charge. The RB100 LT battery must disable the discharge circuit when the heating element inside the battery is active. During this time, the inverter charger is not going to sense the battery voltage. It's only going to see the load of the heating element, not allowing the charger to reach the correct charge voltage. So here's what to do if the alternator monitor is blank and the master volt smart display is blank or reads below 9 volts DC. If you can, plug into shore power, then hold down the emergency start button. This should wake up the batteries and you will know once you check your display. If you do not have access to power, fire up your van just as we did before. Hold down the emergency start button, this time hold it for at least 10 seconds. If the Balmar display lights up and reads 13 volts or more, you're set. If it doesn't, try holding the emergency start switch for 20 seconds so you can get those batteries charging. Once the display shows 13 volts or more, you are on your way to getting those batteries charged. For more helpful videos and useful information about your RV, visit the owner's resource page on ThorMotorCoach.com.